I'm Kagamiso. Though I'm just a video game loving 10th grader, I feel like I used up a lifetime of good fortune. Recently, I had to switch seats and now I'm surrounded by four really smart, popular girls. They are childhood friends of each other who get along well and do everything together. Combining characters in their last names, they are called Kacho Fugetsu, meaning the four beauties of nature. Flowers, birds, wind, and the moon. First, the beauty on my right is named Hanamiya Kaori, a gentle and sweet girl. Hi! Nice to meet you. She's a little bit of an airhead, but she's the most popular girl in school because she's sweet and charming. Her nickname is Flower Princess. I think it really suits her well. Next, the person who sits in front of me and is looking at me is a mixed-race American girl named Tori Urara. This is our first time next to each other. Nice to meet you. Her personality is a little childish, but she is friendly and can get along with anyone. Her nickname is Bird Princess. It fits perfectly for a girl who is free like a bird. Then, the one who sits on the left-hand side is a timid girl named Kazehaya Suzuka. While she is a neat, quiet girl, she does not really talk to anyone outside of the Kacho Fugetsu members. However, looking at her, she is equally as cute as the other members, and since she's fragile like a small animal, she's extremely popular among men and women. Her name is Wind Princess, because she's hard to grasp like the wind. Finally, the intimidating girl behind me is Tsukino Nagisa, the girl most popular after Hanamiya. What are you looking at? Her personality is cold. She's the type of man-hating girl who is nice to other girls but is very strict with guys. In terms of academics, ever since she came, she has taken a top score on every test and is the type of perfect beauty who is even good at sports. Her nickname is Moon Princess. For a girl as beautiful as the moon in the night sky, it suits her well. Though, let's just ignore her icy personality. Because I'm now surrounded by these four, I really feel that I've used up all of my good fortune. Though, the girl behind me is really starting to freak me out. Oh, somebody save me! It feels like she's putting a lot of pressure on me. Hey, hey, Kakun! Kakun? You're Kagami-kun, so you know, Kakun. Let's be friendly from now until the next seat change. I heard she was a friendly person, but I didn't think she would suddenly give me a nickname. Oh, to be able to easily butter up people, I'm jealous of her communication skills. Well, I'm sure it's a bit awkward to be surrounded by four girls, but we are just classmates, so don't be afraid. Uh, Hanamiya, uh, thank. To be so sweet to a woman. How flirty of you. Uh, I I'm not trying to be sweet. But, Tsukino, you can't even see my face from your position. I can just tell. Uh, how? Are you some type of ninja? Of course not. Are you stupid? <sighs> okay, you two, calm down. Nagisa-chan, let's stop biting at men just because you see them as enemies. Yeah, but... If I were sitting in his spot, all four of us would actually be able to sit together. It's a lottery, so what could we do? Not to mention, it's not like it's Kagami-kun's fault. I suppose that's true. Oh yeah! After class, we are going to go out together. But, did you want to come too, Kagami-kun? Huh? Me? Wait, Kaori! What are you saying all of a sudden? What? If he doesn't get used to us, I'll feel bad for him. Especially if he doesn't get used to Nagisa's intimidating aura. <laughs> yes, yes, I agree. What do you think, Suzuka-chan? Me? Uh, um... I mean, you are coming too, Suzuka. I think if Kaori thinks it's a good idea, it's a good idea. Okay, so it's decided. Wait a minute, are you guys being serious? I mean, majority rules. Suzuka's vote did not seem very sure. Even if we void Suzuka-chan's vote, it's still two versus one. Mm. Uh, what do you think, Kagami-kun? Me? There's no way you actually want to hang out with us. Well... Boo-boo! 
Archon, that's not fair! Don't boo me! Okay, Nagisa-chan's glare is a no-go, so I'm going to block you from view. Uh, hey, move! I will not be moving. So, Kakabi-kun, do you think you can hang out today? Want to hang out with us? Oh, mm-hmm. Okay, so you can hang. Hey! Great, let's meet up after class. W wait a minute, I haven't agreed yet! This is how I ended up hanging out with the four most popular girls in school. Though, for the entire length of class, I could feel an enormous amount of pressure emanating behind me. I also got jealous looks from other girls and guys in the class. Uh, hopefully, it won't affect my school life too much. Then, it was the end of class, and the girls took me to a place that was completely unexpected. Uh, an arcade? See? He's shocked. This is exactly why I didn't want him to come. It was our secret. It's fine, it's fine. It's not exactly bad if other people find out. Our reputations might crumble. This place is our local arcade. Do you like games, Kagami-kun? Yes, I, I love games, but... That's great! Let's duel. A, a duel? Why? I think it's easiest to understand if we call it a duel. What kind of sports manga did this girl come from? Even if I understand fight, the only gain is knowing each other's gaming skills. Doesn't that sound fun? If we play together, we can figure it out, so... Let's duel! Um... Suddenly, I was swept away and forced into a seat. I don't remember hearing anything about a competition. Uh, isn't a competition something we all do together? Each of us have our individual games that we're good at. And the game that I'm good at is this racing game. Oh, she's totally going to destroy me! These are the games we're crazy about, so... Of course, we are sore losers. I... Uh, I didn't know. I haven't even heard of a whisper of a rumor that these girls would be gamers. I doubt there are even students that would imagine that they play games. It's okay if I try my hardest, right? <laughs> of course! Though, I haven't lost to anyone in about a year. So, prepare yourself. She seems to have a lot of confidence. In the end... I is this a joke? I lost?! Uh, uh, <laughs> For... Kaori to lose, and with such a significant time difference, too. Wow, Kakun! Kao-chan is like a beast at this game! It's just a one-time thing. Okay, next is with me! W wait one more time! Let's play one more time! What? Kao-chan? It's one person, one time! There's a backlog! B-but... There's just no way! So let's play one more time, Kagami-kun! Well, that's fine. This was my first time seeing Hanamiya act like this, so I agreed because of the forcefulness of her spirit. Then, we played again, but... I... I lost again! Not to mention by an even greater time difference this time. Uh, uh, <sighs> again! Really? She was being serious when she said these were her favorite games, and they were sore losers. But I suppose it makes sense when it's a game you are good at. Tori seemed really dissatisfied, but I could really understand Hanamiya's feelings, so I decided to play again. Then... I can't! My heart is breaking! Every time she lost, she insisted on another game over and over. And by the tenth time, she had become really depressed. Or maybe we should just think of her as really having thrown down the gauntlet. Kakun, Kakun, you've had enough, right? Let's battle! Once Hanamiya had lost the will to fight, Urara pulled me away like a puppy desperate for attention. Okay, but what are we going to do? A music game! I'm super good at music games! This is the game I'm best at! I've had the number one ranking at this arcade for over one year! Oh, wow, that's amazing. Yes, I was even ranked number two in the nation. I couldn't beat the number one player, Kakadu. He's like a giga gamer who is always ranked number one. So there's nothing I could do. Hmm, I see. Hmm? 
Is something wrong? N no, it's nothing. Uh, let's just play. Do you need me to explain the game? I've played before, so uh, I'm okay. Okay, so you should be fine. Okay, Kakun, I'm going to give it my best shot. So, come at me with your best. I yes, of course. Her expression and energy have completely changed. She's definitely a gamer. I could feel an inordinate amount of pressure from Tori as I was getting set up. God, this pressure. Not to mention number two in the nation is nothing to balk at. No way! I lost! Uh, <laughs> I just won't use the nickname I usually use. For not only Kari to lose, but Urada too. What are you? Uh, it's a fluke. Your beating me was not a fluke! Whoa! Not to mention, this score is as high as Kakadu's! Explain! Um, uh, well, the thing is... Wait, Kakadu? Well, Kagami's first name is... What? What did you say, Nachan? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Suzuka, come here. What's up? The person you also can't be in your puzzle game is also named Kakadu, right? It... Yes, I see. Work with me here. Huh? Kagami-kun, your next opponent is Suzuka. What? Uh, I'm good. Please, Suzuka, there's something I want you to try. Uh, okay. What? I want another battle like Kao chan got to. After Suzuka's battle, I'm sure he'll agree to it. Boo, fine. Kakun, after you fought Su-chan, fight me again. Okay. I almost feel like I can't say no. Then, though we were supposed to move on to the puzzle game... Kakami-kun, Suzuka is a strong gamer ranked 2 in the entire nation. She isn't moody like Urara. Hey, Nachan, That's a little rude! Wow, you guys are all so amazing! Though I won, Hanamiya was plenty fast. Kaori-chan's race game time was even in the top 10. But Kaori-chan is very good at being competitive, which is why she hasn't lost until now. It went like this. The members of the group all have incredible skill. After that, we had our battle, but... I... lost. <laughs> if even Suzuka can't win, then definitely... Amazing, amazing! Seriously, Kakun, what are you made of? Are you by chance a pro? Uh, no, the thing is... He's not a pro. Not Chad, but his skill! Just because he is skillful doesn't make him a pro. Kagami-kun, you are Kakadu, right? <laughs> <laughs> no way, Nachan! Kakun's name is Sho! Therein lies the answer. The character for Sho can also be read as Kakadu. What? Really? Not to mention, the reigning player of Kaoi's racing game is also Kakadu. Now that you mention it, that's true! The only person who can beat Kaori, Urada, and Suzuka is Kakadu. With the final piece of the game, it's clear that it has to be you. <laughs> uh, busted, I guess. I thought it would be pointless to keep trying to fool them, so I told them the truth. Just as they had figured out, Kakeru was my player name. Clearly, you weren't trying to hide it or anything. Otherwise, you would have played badly once you realized Urida's skill level. I'd rather be revealed than to lose, I guess. At worst, even if it was revealed, I doubt that you guys would say anything about it. Though, Tori is hard to trust. Of course, because I thought that they were all good people. If I asked them to keep my secret, they probably would even though I did treat them as real opponents. I see. So you also took into account our personalities. Anyway, who cares? Kakun, play with me again! Me too! I want to try again! W wait a minute! Urara! Ikari, what are you doing? Uh, uh, I'd like to play too, because I've never beaten you. You too, Suzuka? I'm not done talking to him! Uh... uh <laughs> 
in any case, um, I'm not used to girls, and this situation is a little tense for me, so if you could let me go... Even though I felt I had received a huge blessing, my heart could barely take it, so I had them let go of me. Therefore, doing so didn't really make me feel like I was missing out on anything. Um, I guess the next person is you, Tsukino? Uh, actually, I'm good. Oh, you don't want to play? I wasn't really concerned about this competition. Liar! You are always competitive and looking to battle. Hey now, don't just go around saying stuff! In any case, rather than talk about this, there's one thing that I wanted to ask you about. How did you become so good at video games? Well, the truth is that I want to become a pro gamer. I practice a lot, which is why I've been a little neglectful of my schoolwork. Though I also do actually have a part-time job. Oh wait, if that's true, then you could quit school. With your skill, you could definitely become a pro gamer. Oh, I made a promise to my parents that I would graduate from high school before trying to become one for real. They said I definitely need to graduate high school. Oh, same as us, actually. Oh, you guys are all trying to become pro gamers? Yes, exactly. We've all dreamed of becoming professional esports players since we were children. Oh, that's why you are all so good at games. Hmm. Okay, okay. How about we end the chat here and you battle with me again? That's not fair! Me first! M me too. I want to play again. Like I said, please, let me go! Mm -hmm. I ended up spending a lot more time with them, so in the end, my allowance was completely depleted. After that, we separated, and I was walking home by myself. W wait up! Uh, Tsukino? Didn't you go home with the others? This is a little forward, but I have a favor to ask of you. A favor? T teach me some tricks about the game! What? Unlike the others, I'm actually really bad at gaming. I've been playing for a long time, but I haven't improved since middle school. So, please teach me some tricks so I can get better! I was curious why she didn't want to duel with me, but I guess this was the reason. Since the other three girls are nationally ranked gamers, if one gets left behind, it's reasonable that she would be impatient. Maybe the reason she didn't want me to come to the arcade is because she didn't want me to know that she was the only one who was low level. On top of being rude to you, I feel bad to encroach on the time you use for gaming practice, but... But... I just don't know what to do. I don't think I can get out of this slump by myself. Okay. What? Rather than tricks, I think we should think of it more as coaching. I'll help you become better at video games. Really? I can't turn down someone with such an earnest request. But I was mean to you. I don't really care about that. But uh, what you just showed me, was it your true self? If so, we shouldn't care about the other stuff and instead focus on helping you get better. Th thank you, Kagami-kun. Oh wait, don't cry. Uh, I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Though that's what she said, the tears wouldn't stop coming. In any case, she seemed happy. Perhaps it's ambitious to say she was touched. From that day onward, I became really busy. Whenever I had a free day from work, I started going to the arcade with all of them. They started scrambling for me, and uh, for one person to handle three people was a lot for me. In any case, having them as gaming partners was good practice for me, so I kept them as my partners. I did think it was a bit unfair that they were all wealthy and had plenty of spending money without working part-time. Though, instead of working, they did do a lot of extracurricular activities. And, after we all split up for the day... Yeah, so there's a strategy that considers the terrain and the number of people, but... According to the internet, if your opponent takes the optimal strategy, you in turn become easy to read. Therefore, if you figure out your opponent's pattern first, winning becomes easy. Uh, okay, I get it! In this way, we had these secret lessons at Tsukino's house. Turns out her favorite game is a shooting game, so we played that. Though I became very busy, ever since we started practicing together, she became more upfront and even sweet, so our time together became a comfort for me. Even though up till now I had been pursuing my dream all by myself, 
From now on, we worked together and pursued our dream to be pro gamers all together. <laughs>